We're joined now by the Callahan family head men's tennis coach, Ryan Sachary, who graduated here in the year 2000 as a tennis player, and three-time All-American in his third season as head coach when you were here back when, and during your first year in 2014, you guided the Irish to the ranking of 13. Now, the other guy with us tonight, to me, uh, a young man who really, really has made himself a key player on this year's team, a senior, Quentin Monaghan. And let's understand something. Last spring, you were the first guy in Notre Dame history in single semifinal championship. But more important for both of you, about a week ago, you knock off number one North Carolina in this ACC title chase championship, and they were number one. Ryan as coach, what was that feeling like for you? Well, as you know, Digger, it was, it was an incredible feeling. Uh, just a tremendous amount of pride that I had in our players, particularly our seniors uh, who led us that night. Uh, all four seniors that played won their matches. And, you know, being on senior night uh, in front of a great crowd, it was, it was an amazing experience. Quentin, here you are, a yeah. senior, and you knock <clears throat> off number one. That emotion, starting four years ago as a freshman, ending up here as your senior year, knock off yeah. number one, North Carolina. Uh, it was sort of a surreal moment. I mean, um, you know, I think we had been playing well and the guys were working really hard, but, you know, to have everything come together on senior night and to have, you know, the number one team in the country on your home courts on a special night like that was a huge opportunity. Um, but, you know, to, to capitalize on it and, um, you know, produce the tennis that was necessary to win was pretty special. Okay, so you grew up in North Jersey. Yeah. Why Notre Dame for tennis? Um... I mean, it came down to a number of reasons, but uh, I think I just fell in love with the campus on my visit and really liked the guys on the team. And then, uh, you know, they say you want to follow a good coach because he's, he's in charge of, you know, everything you do and he oversees, um, you know, everything from an academic and athletic standpoint. I think um, Coach Satchery here was uh, a huge part of that. Ryan, when you go back and look at finding guys around this country, What's it like today recruiting for Notre Dame tennis? Nothing's better. Uh, you know, just the opportunities that are here for our guys. Uh, being a student athlete here myself, uh, a graduate, I, I know firsthand the experience that you can have, that you're capable of having. And again, the opportunities both, you know, playing in the best tennis conference in the country in the ACC, a uh, chance to play against a great schedule, a chance to develop into a, a player that's got a chance to be a successful pro. And then on top of that, you know, the academic uh, prestige and the, the, the value of the degree and the education that comes along here, it's pretty, it's pretty easy sell. And, and fortunately, you got a guy to my left here that has taken advantage of and is a great story to tell future recruits and ho hopefully future champions here at Notre Dame. Okay, now I always thought that the Fab Five was this famous Michigan basketball team back in the early <laughs> 90s. But what's this Fab Five stuff yeah. with you seniors on this tennis team? Uh, I mean, we sort of started as a joke. Uh, we just sort of made a Twitter handle, and there are five, five guys in our class, which is sort of unique because it's a big class for a tennis team. And um, I don't know, we just sort of took off of it and um, followed a bunch of people, and, and we're able to get some attention. But um, yeah, don't, we don't have much on the Michigan Fat Five. Yeah, well, <laughs> anyhow, but you do have a chance now yeah. to go after a national title. What do you and your teammates have to do? after knocking off number one Carolina, to go out now and win an NCAA championship and become national champions as the number one Notre Dame? Uh, I mean, I, th I think it's right there for us, to be honest. I think, uh, you know, we, we talk about the process, and I think everyone just needs to buy into working hard and getting better every day. But uh, more than anything, I think it comes down to belief, and I think guys really believe right now that we can beat anyone in the country, and I think, um, you know, just carrying that into the matches and just sort of finding a way to win will be huge. Ryan, that's your mindset into these players. I can see that right now. But you as a coach, knowing what this challenge is going to be, give me two things you feel are important, not just so much playing, but the mental part of this, how to put things in the right perspective so you can take this challenge and win a national title. I think, you know, we have, we have three weeks to get ready now, two and a half weeks probably, and, and to me it comes down to urgency on the front end in terms of the preparation. Two and a half weeks is a long layoff when you're used to competing every, every single weekend. Uh, which we've had for the last three months. Uh, we, we need to take advantage of the time that we have. And like Quentin talked about, working hard, getting better every day. 
think we have great urgency. We can be an improved team from now into the tournament. And then once we get there, though, it's to relax and just focus on the next task at hand, to not buy into the enormity of trying to win six matches. You can't win six matches right. in a day. It's win the next match, win the next match, win the next match. And if we do that, like Quinton said, I think our guys believe we can beat anybody. And, and uh, you know, we know it's a huge challenge, but it's something we're capable of doing. Well, I like your confidence and I like your coaching. So we at the university wish you guys well to get it done. I want to thank you, Quentin, Ryan, for being part of this show and being a part of what Notre Dame Day is. But you got some big moments coming up in three weeks. Let's get it done yeah. because we are number one. That's